Hey everyone, my name is Eric, and today I'm just gonna be showing you real quick the S34. I'm not gonna be doing a full review on it because I don't really highly recommend this one. It didn't really have the performance that I wanted to get out of it. Basically, as you'll see in the video, it's really hard to get the helicopter to fly forward and back and, and stay trimmed out. I just found that the, the trim throughout the flight would sometimes just go out of whack and you'd have to land it and trim it out and you know, I just didn't get that good of an experience out of it. Um, if you guys want, if you like the look of the Chinook, I included a link to my review on the S026G. This is the Mini Chinook, same company, Saima. Most of the time they make really, really good high quality uh, helicopters. This is, uh, the Chinook's just one of, um, I believe five other military style scale looking helicopters. Um, so I put links to those in the description below. So I just really wish that the, the Chinook flew better, at least the uh, S34, the bigger one. I, I really like the look of the dual rotors and it is 2.4 gigahertz. So you don't have to worry about the uh, problems with infrared. Uh, another thing with this uh, bigger Chinook, which I didn't like, is sometimes the blades would just hit each other because they're so close, they're so big and so heavy. Whereas with the with the mini Chinook, they didn't. They would um, they just had enough room to clear, and they're so lightweight. I mean, just the difference in blade size is uh, is huge. I mean, these blades are heavier. If they hit you, they're gonna hurt. Um, if they hit something in your house, they're gonna do some damage. So overall, I would just stick with the S026. And make sure to subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my future reviews. I do a lot of reviews on RC cars, boats, helicopters, and airplanes. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.